This is why I'm so much more superior and advanced to other northern beekeepers. Here it is, February 2nd. It was in the teens this morning and it's still probably around 20 or a little less. Very cold outside and I'm checking my colonies. Yesterday I did these over here, 12 colonies. I found one colony that didn't have a queen. So I was able to combine that colony with another. And I'm over here doing this side today. I've already been through these three. And what I do is I open it up. This pollen that I stuck in there a few days ago. If they're on the pollen, I'd say there's a queen in there. And I don't mess with pulling frames out and looking for a queen because they're on the pollen and they've been consuming it. But when I opened the colony, this right here came out of 23. 23 was on top. If I open the colony, and what I'm doing is I'm also cleaning out the bottom screens and bottom boards. Dumping it in the bucket. So I'll have that full when I get done with these 12. So they're not consuming pollen. And I'm also checking how, how, how heavy are they. This one right here was one that I rescued beginning of winter. They got small, considerably smaller, and I was worried about them being outside in the cold. So I, I had an opening slot, and I put them in the window. I didn't get a chance to add frames of honey, and they're considerably light, and I have extra deep frames of honey I'm putting in there. But the question is, do they have a queen? Before I do any adding of frames, I check to see if they have a queen. And this, I can't say enough about the way I keep bees. Nobody else in the world does this that I know of. I don't have to wait for warmer temperatures outside to check my colonies. I can do it during the winter inside. So the frames that have the most bees on, I just leave them in there and I slide them over. This is why I don't use nukes boxes. I can slide frames over and then I tip them. And then I look for the queen. She was there. She's a big queen. They're not consuming pollen, and I'm not seeing any, any brood. I don't want to take this out, but trust me, there was a queen there. And this gives me a chance to rearrange the frames. I want the queen in the center. Yeah. And then I'm also, uh, when I get done, I'm also doing a acidic acid treatment. Because uh, right now they currently don't have any cat, cat brood. They may have started, after I gave them pollen, the queen may have started laying and they may have some larvae, but I didn't see any cat brood anywhere. So I'm going to do a, Acidic acid treatment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be ready long before you guys even get a chance to even crack open a hive. Um, we're gonna have some bitter cold temperatures here in a few days. It's gonna be uh, the kind of cold that's gonna kill colonies. So I, I feel sorry for all you beekeepers that wrap your hives thinking your colony is large enough for the cold temperatures. What happens is during the winter your colonies shrink from old age, your bees die from old age. And you can have all the insulation on that hive you, that you could possibly put on that hive. But if that colony is small, they're not going to generate enough heat to stay warm to even heat that hive. So I feel sorry for you because you're not checking your hives. I check my hives and if I find them too small, I go ahead and I bring them in. And if I run out of room in here, in this room here, I have a, a shed over there. I could take everything out of that shed. It's got a heater in there. I could put them in that shed. So I do have a backup plan for if it gets too cold and if I have find more colonies that are in danger of being chilled and then I check them in the mornings early in the morning because that's when it gets the coldest and if you catch them in a few hours you can actually save their lives by putting them in a warmer room so I'm going to have that shed all set up it's going to be emptied out if I find a colony out here that's too small I strap it put it on the bucket of my tractor and I'll put it in that shed turn the heater up a little bit I've had bees in there in the past. I don't like doing it because it doesn't have windows. I left them in there for two months and queens didn't lay. But in here where they have windows, 
They know what time of year it is because they can tell how many days have gone by. And the sunshine really makes that queen lay. But when you have them in a dark room, I didn't have any success getting a queen to lay. Okay? Thank you.